hopefully it's going to be impressed by this. And then the other way around, do you uh, have any influence on the music? Again, I wouldn't say directly, but you know, if if there's an act I'm excited about, I'll I'll say to Dan, oh, you should yeah. listen to this guy or listen to this and things like that. So there will be some kind of of crossover All, and effect. Although I, I think structurally, he, he probably has more of an effect going that way than the other way, structurally, because yeah, yeah. because there's things he's writing that if I drop the beat there, it will be perfect. Mm. So. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, letting letting it affect that way is always. What's first ends. when you write the song? First and Neither first. really. It's kind of just Varies, what yeah. which comes first. Sometimes I'll send him a beat and he'll already have a vocal for it. And sometimes he's written a vocal that he desperately wants a beat for. So, bit bit of everything. But there's always, no matter how they marry, there's always that conversation about um, how how it develops because I never yeah. give him I've learnt not to give him anything near finished because he'll just jump on it and do it and then then it's in his head done yeah. so making sure I'm giving him demos that I can still develop and hopefully punctuate what he's doing as well as enhance what I've done and that's I mean I think on this album I've learnt more to to hold off a bit and 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 not send stuff to to Dan until it's developed a little itself anyway I, I like uh, there were certain tracks where I'd email down the sound at three minutes like before he'd heard the vocal at all at this point can you put a drop in and can you do this and that so that the first time he's hearing it it's at a good state and standard and, and something that I could be you know hopefully gonna oh, he's gonna be impressed by this kind of so it's you know again it's uh, to a good level initially mm. Now, for example, then uh, the single "Get Better." Yes. Mm. Uh, how did that happen there? Exactly uh, as I just said there, yeah. actually, because that Pretty was the one I was too. thinking about in okay. my head. Is is one where it it was again Dan sent a, a rough beat, but it had a beginning and then a bit of a build and a drop, and then it went to more of a straight. It was very oh, similar yeah, to the end, so it just so you could write out. And I was like, I, I'd started writing, and the way the first verse had gone, uh, that drop was integral, and I really wanted that in the second verse, so I was like, well, can you put the drop from this point over there? And then I sent that to Dan, and yeah, he developed it and added a sung vocal in the in the hook, mm, in mm. the chorus, and it really, yeah, it developed, again, a back and forth. It was it was one of the last ones we wrote uh, for the album. It was again, the last better one finished. Not, were like the real, yeah. a last minute, we thought we probably had a finished album, and then we had like two more ideas, so oh, let's, let's quickly get this done. And they've been two of the, the standout tracks, or, mm, or, mm. or two of the ones that have been uh, talked about talked a lot about, in the in the pre-release kind of moments.